Thank you, Daphne. Thank you for inviting uh, us sa uh, Department of Migrant Workers. Bakit kayo may butas dito? <laughs> Kaka-intrigue. Ha? Huh? Ah, sa water. Okay. Sorry, ha. Na-OC ako kasi parang gusto ko siya itip. Anyway, um, bibigyan naman kayo ng ano, yung accomplishment namin. So, um, siguro just to emphasize a few uh, figures. Um, some may not be in the slide presentation. Uh, for the first time, so we were um, released our first ever budget uh, for the first quarter. Thank you to, to DBM and of course our legislators. So 566 million for the first quarter of this year. Our um, total GAA budget is 15.8 billion. So broken down into OSEC 4.1 billion, OWA 11.7 billion for frontline services to our OFWs. This year we will also be establishing 1616 regional offices. We also need to fill up around 1000 vacancies. So, doon po sa gustong magtrabaho sa Department of Migrant Workers, pakiabangan na lang po yung aming announcement ng vacancies which we will also need to uh, clear and um, uh, coordinate um, this information with the civil service. Alright. Uh, we will also be adding four migrant workers offices. Um, offhand, uh, we are looking at Bangkok, Thailand. We will also, we are also considering uh, Guam and uh, two more TBD to be declared um, because we are assessing uh, the needs of our workers and we are looking at employability employment foreign employment opportunities uh, the size of the OFW population as well as welfare cases in those countries vulnerability uh, of our workers in those countries so we have a criteria for choosing uh, which uh, countries or territories uh, deserve um, or are in need also need to uh, clear and um, uh, coordinate um, this information with the civil service. Alright, uh, we will also be adding four migrant workers offices. Um, offhand, uh, we are looking at Bangkok, Thailand. We will also, we are also considering uh, Guam and uh, two more TBD to be declared um, because we are assessing uh, the needs of our workers and we are looking at employability, employment, foreign employment opportunities, uh, the size of the OFW population, as well as welfare cases in those countries, vulnerability, uh, of our workers in those countries. So we have a criteria for choosing uh, which uh, countries or territories uh, deserve um, or are in need. Siyempre, lot of them are in need, no? But those that we will prioritize uh, for this year. Okay? Coming soon, new rules for the land-based and sea-based workers with ease of doing business as one of the guideposts. Gusto sana namin yung rules na yun, simplified and easy to read, hindi na kailangan ng abogado para maintindihan. Yung previous rules kasi, they were all published and they were all um, formulated under POEA. So ngayon, we have to come out with our own rules, which is why 
after this meeting, I have a dialogue with our recruitment agency owners um, to discuss this and other matters as well. Alright, scholarships, 37,949 uh, through OWA. These are the children of our OFWs. We are also emphasizing the need for um, uh, social, cultural, and educational activities and support for children of OFWs based on instruction ng ating presidente. So we for for last year, uh, we were able to provide such activities to 9,778 OFW children. Uh, we are in discussion with DepEd on how to develop in-school programs in support of OFW um, children. Uh, for example, uh, support for textbooks, um, support for mental health, yung, yung mga ganong klase. Our... Um, one of our key objectives is to increase the number of deployed OFWs for this year. Uh, from July to November of last year, 486,673 lang yung na-deploy natin. Uh, um, for the land base, nasa 352,911. Uh, sea base, 219,869. The good news is that there are several emerging markets. We have invitations pending uh, for bilateral labor talks with Romania, Hungary, uh, and Portugal. Uh, we are also uh, looking into the possibility. Uh, we, I met with the Minister of Labor and Welfare of Hong Kong yesterday, Minister Chris Sun or Sun, S U N, and uh, he broached the possibility of exploratory talks on the deployment of Filipino caregivers to Hong Kong. But uh, early, early stage pa ito, we need to send a team to Hong Kong to meet with um, his team as well. Uh, we are also uh, closely working with the DOJ on. Um, illegal recruitment and human trafficking cases. Of course, you are all familiar with uh, uh, the situation in Myanmar, uh, Cambodia, and Laos. We continue to remain at, uh, to um, maintain a tight watch on the online illegal recruitment and trafficking of our workers to those places. Um, Kanina, uh, after my presentation, uh, the president also again uh, stressed the need to uh, help our seafarers. So tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m., we will have a virtual signing of a memorandum of understanding with uh, several um, organizations, of foreign ship owners based in the EU as well as international maritime organizations to form the first ever um, International Advisory Committee on Global Maritime Affairs, uh, IAC GMA, uh, to be headed by yours truly. Uh, and uh, we have uh, discussed with uh, the following departments the um, idea of them also joining as advisors uh, as part of the council and so far we have received positive messages from the DFA from um, the OTR and Marina and uh, also the DANR because of the uh, net zero um, campaign of the International Maritime Organization for decarbonization and um, uh, new technologies to power the ships. Um, and a lot of training will have to uh, 
um, be undertaken for that. So, ang tawag nila don just transition. So, DNR will also be joining the IACGMA. Konti na lang. OFW Hospital uh, uh, from um, July up to December, the OFW Hospital in Mabalakat, Pampanga was able to provide uh, free medical consultations and also with the help of OWA to over 6,000 family members. And um, around 1,500 OFWs directly benefited from 21.8 million cash assistance as medical coverage for dreaded diseases. For more information about that, I would uh, invite you to get in touch with Administrator Arnel Ignacio of OWA. Shelters, we are sending a team to Kuwait to look at how we can decongest the shelter there. We are tapping also the social welfare attaches of DSWD who are now part of the department for their expertise on how to upgrade uh, our shelters overseas for overseas workers. Uh, mahalaga po na very humane, dignified, and comfortable and safe ang ating mga um, residences, temporary residences for our distressed OFWs um, in across the across the globe. So with that, uh, I think uh, I, I, we will just share our presentation uh, with the help of uh, PCO. And uh, if you have any questions. Thank you, Sec Ople. Um, Job Manahan, ABS CBN News Online. Good, uh, good afternoon po, Secretary Ople. Uh, may update po ba regarding dun sa pag-release ng back pay dun ah, sa yes. Saudi workers? Oo, nakakaligtaan ko yun. Yung sa unpaid uh, salaries, no? Uh, yung um, dapat sana December kami tutuloy. But upon the request of the Ministry of uh, Human Resources and Social Development o MHRSD, yun ang aming counterpart sa Saudi Arabia, uh, they requested for more time to arrange our visit dahil yung sa unpaid claims, hindi pala sa kanila yun nakaatang. So they wanted time for... Um, um, certain arrangements to be made so that when I go there, I will be able to meet with the right person in the office of the Crown Prince. So, as of yesterday, they promised that they will uh, give us the itinerary and schedule for the Saudi trip uh, within the week. So, we are waiting for that. But definitely, ang um, agreement is that that is number one in the agenda. Follow up lang po. May estimate po kaya kung magkano yung matatanggap ng mga OFWs natin. Tapos, may, aside po dun sa na-mention, may time frame pa po kaya na tinitingnan? I want to be very cautious and prudent job na ang gusto ko, pag nakausap ko na, tsaka kami magre-release ng information kasi alam nyo, emotionally charged yung issue. Yesterday, I met with some of the claimants and kasi nga um, may mga kung ano-ano lumalabas sa Facebook. So, sabi ko, medyo chill. Chill lang. Alam ko, mahirap dahil marami umasa ng Pasko. Pero the ball kasi is really in Saudi Arabia's court. Eh. So, I want to be quite, ano, um, prudent and responsible. Wala akong sasabihin about it uh, until uh, we finally meet in Saudi Arabia with the um, with the officials uh, that are tasked to work this out with us. And uh, until then, uh, hindi mo na kami magbibigay ng any specifics out of respect na rin sa aming kakausapin sa Saudi Arabia. Okay, Kat Domingo, abs -CBN. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, during President uh, Marcos's state visit to Indonesia in September, the Philippines filed or asked the Indonesian government for an executive clemency for Mary Jane Veloso. May we get an update on that case? 
Yes, per agreement with uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs, kasi yung institutional memory dun sa kaso na yon lies with them. And uh, uh, I think during the visit of the President to Indonesia, it was Secretary Manalo who raised this issue with his counterpart. So we will have to defer uh, to the DFA pagdating doon. And uh, just as an FYI, uh, on Friday, uh, the Executive Secretary uh, uh, will be convening a meeting. Uh, to be present uh, in that meeting are the Secretary of Labor, Secretary of Foreign Affairs, uh, myself, and of course the ES, to discuss um, uh, transitional matters. Um, for example, yun nga, mga death row cases, um, yung pag-transfer ng ATN work from uh, the ATN officers of our embassies to our migrant workers uh, attaches, the kind of training that's needed to capacitate them in preparation for that um, very delicate uh, job. So, sa Friday po yun, um, we will be dis discussing those matters. Alvin Baltasar, Radio Pilipinas. Secretary, magandang hapon po. Secretary, doon sa nabanggit nyo na 1,000 na opening na positions sa DMW, mm -hmm. ilang po doon yung plantilla positions at saka ilang po yung i-hire nyo na COS? I think those are all plantilla items. Kasi don't uh, forget we're a new department and magsiset up kami ng regional offices. So even... Uh, well, uh, I think ano eh, majority ng mga empleyado na yung nasubsume namin, wala kaming inalis eh, except for those na talagang uh, um, may ibang career plans. no. But um, most of them really were absorbed by the DMW and yet kulang pa. So we are um, going to issue uh, specific details regarding what kind of vacancies are there. there. We have formed a screening panel and uh, we will be working closely with the Civil Service Commission uh, regarding this. Secretary, can you give us, uh, can you give us at least an idea on uh, ano -ano yung mga positions na may open? Uh, of course, meron, may need kami for lawyers, may need din kami for even entry-level staff. Iba-iba uh, eh. Uh, something as basic as yung social media team namin. So, kung meron ditong aplikante, <laughs> please let me know. Need din namin ng writers. So, um, but ano, uh, mes, 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 uh, um, syempre, mes klaro, pati ko anong salary grade, yung ano yung mga uh, qualifications, lahat yan ilalabas namin in the spirit of uh, transparency and uh, in inclusivity. Ano. And, and even yung mga ex-OFWs, uh, if they want to apply, or even if they are abroad and they want to apply, I mean, ano, the, the door is open. Yun lang nga, uh, uh, ano lang, syempre competitive yan. And uh, we want a very professionally run department. So, yung padrino system, pwedeng, ano muna, we will look at the qualifications of each uh, candidate. Mm -hmm. Alan Francisco, PTV. Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. In the previous um, state visits, of uh, President Marcos um, sa ibang bansa, no? Mm -mm. Priority po niya, binibisita niya yung mga Filipino. So, are we expecting that uh, when he visits in Switzerland, he will also do the same um, visiting the Filipino community, ma'am? Yeah, I'm sure na si Daphne will brief you. Uh, in probably, kasi forthcoming na yung Davos, eh. Probably in your next uh, uh, briefing. Kasi ayoko pangunahan. I mean, I know the answer, pero baka hindi dapat magmula sa amin. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, last question, Ivan Marina, JMA7. Hi, Sec. You yes. mentioned that there are ongoing bilateral labor talks with uh, Romania, Hungary, Portugal, and even Hong Kong may uh, in export mm -hmm. the possibilities done. How much of these uh, talks 
can be directly attributed to the President's visits in different countries in the last few months. And this year, ano-ano po kaya yung mga magmamaterialize o yung mga magbubunga sa mga agreements na na-forge dito sa mga nakarang pagbisitin na ito that will open up jobs for Filipinos? Yeah, alam mo, a lot of it is really uh, can, can be attributed to the President's popularity. But we also have to give uh, a shout-out uh, as well dun sa reputation, excellent reputation ng Filipino workers. Uh, but the, the visits that we've had pave a way for a lot of uh, these new conversations. For example, yung Singapore, uh, we signed a joint uh, uh, statement or communique with the Minister of Health. But uh, this March, we have to go there to finalize the implementation protocols naman. Kasi they would like to um, hire more Filipino health workers. Um, yung sa Portugal naman, ang initial discussion namin is that I'll be also, I need to go there by the, during this first quarter. And um, ay, yun naman, tourism sector din ang isa sa mga uh, kinakailangan nila. Uh, for the President's visit in Japan, we will also be renewing a bilateral labor agreement. It, this will be a very busy year for the DMW kasi yung mga bilateral labor agreements na existing and about to expire were with Dole. So now we have to renew na kami na yung signatory. Um, so, yun. And let's not forget na dahil na-lift na namin yung Saudi Arabia, I think initially we are looking at 6,000 new hires for Saudi Arabia alone, no? For now until March, nagkakaproblema na lang sa booking ng flights dahil nasabay sa holiday season. Uh, so doon nagkakahirapan. Um, but these numbers will continue to to grow. Meanwhile, we are also expanding and strengthening our reintegration program for OFWs who want to stay here for good. And uh, kausap na namin yung um, uh, si Go Negosyo, kausap din namin the ICT, uh, si Ms. Tessie C uh, of SM, um, the other day someone from San Miguel also and, and the Bank of Commerce also um, came to visit us. So, we are putting together all these reintegration partners so that yung mga pabalik na OFWs can just pick and choose kung sino ang gusto nilang makausap uh, to seek advice, whether they want to put up a business or they want to um, seek employment. Uh, then, at least klaro na kung sinong mga partners ang pwede nilang i-prioritize. Okay, maraming salamat po, uh, Department Migrant Workers Secretary Susan Toots Ople. Maraming salamat, Malacanang Press Corps. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Yan ang bagong balita sa bagong umaga ng bagong Pilipinas. Ito po si Leon D.C. At ito ang World News Report. Rewind. React. Respa. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click notification bell for more updates.